It's Candy, and can you guys believe that one of my friends are going to um, like one of the videos that I posted earlier today, and she texted me and she said, I have to tell you that every time I go to like a video, it gives me this error. Hold on, I'm going to show you. Can you guys see this? So she went to like this video, and it says, ratings has been disabled for this video. I'm like... What girl? No, something is wrong. So let me go check. So I start researching on my laptop, though. So I start researching, and I start thinking, like, you know, I don't get a whole lot of likes. I mean, I I don't get likes or dislikes, actually. Hmm. Early on in my videos, there was a few, like my Starbucks, fuck you, Starbucks, got like eight dislikes or something. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I had it disabled. So every time I'm like, guys, if you could like below, click the like button, um, and it was disabled. So finally someone tells me after, what, seven, eight months? I don't even know, girl, but so that's how this day started out. So, so I have fixed that now, so go back through and like my videos. No, I'm just kidding. Really do it. Do it, please. No, it doesn't matter. Anyhow, so... What I originally came here today for was to share a few beauty products that I have bought lately with you guys. Um, I figured I was getting ready to throw boxes away because I cannot stand to hoard them. I've been hoarding them for a couple weeks, just the boxes, so that I could do this video. And so I just want to throw the boxes away, so this is what's happening. I haven't built up a lot of stuff. I think I only have like eight or nine items, but it'll be a quick video then, right? So here we go. First, I want to talk about... Feet, actually. Ooh, I hate feet, don't you? I mean, I have, I think I have cute feet. Actually, I used to model on a foot fetish website. So, I feel like I have cute feet, but I don't like feet at all. I don't want to see anybody's feet. I'm not into you sucking or licking or touching my feet. But, I don't want to have crusty feet either. And, I don't want to have nasty feet. So, um... These little guys are what they use in the salon I go to for pedicures, actually. And they use a little bit bigger one or whatever. And you buy your own. You put it in this little whatever. Anyhow, I buy these and send these to my sister because she requests these in Tennessee. I don't know. She's in a little bitty town, so they don't have a whole lot of um, variety or whatever there. They don't even have Sally's Beauty Supply, I don't think, girl. But um, definitely not an Ulta or anything like that. So, anyhow, I just wanted to throw this out there. It's called a... Uh, Mr. Pumis Pumis Bar, Pumi Bar, Pumi Bar. Anyhow, it looks like this, and I just rub that on my feet real lightly every time I get in the shower. Um, on the times that I want to like really scrub them, I just use like an exfoliator scrub or whatever on with it, and I really don't. I mean, I don't have to go get pedicures anymore. I guess because of a two dollar little block that I use almost every day. I, sometimes I do it every other day though. You know, like sometimes I don't. I do it really lightly. Um, anyhow. Okay, on to the next thing. I don't need to talk about my face. Starting to weird me out. Probably weirding you out too. And yeah, on to the next thing. Okay, so let's get into the facial things. Um, everything else I have is going to be a face product. So I don't talk about this much, but I have rosacea on my face. A lot of people think my skin is so flawless, and really, I have to credit it to the Mac powder that I put on my face. I literally have no foundation on today except for just Mac powder and the brush I use with it and. That along with, um, you know, just a little blush or whatever. But um, I wanted to try something on my face for the rosacea that I have developed in my 30s. But um, I hadn't tried anything yet. I like this one because it's kind of, not kind of, it is homeopathic. Um, I started using this. It's called Prosacea. And um, the only reason I actually got it was because it was like, buy one, get one free. And I was like, well, and it, and it had a dollar off too. So I was like, let me try it. And I, I mean, you can use it up to three times a day, I think it says. But I put it on in the morning and then the night. Sometimes throughout the middle of the day if I remember it. But I've seen a pretty good difference with this. If I don't use it, I definitely see a difference not using it. So I've been using that. Funny, this is huge box for this little teeny tiny bottle of it. It's about ten dollars, I guess. Depends on where you get it. It's a clear kind of. I don't really want to pour it out because I don't want to waste it. It won't go back in. But it's just this little container. is kind of like a clear. I'll do a little bit to show you guys. It's kind of like a clear. Oh, I'm going up too high. It's kind of a clear color, um, clear whitish color, and you just. You just rub it into um, the redness on your face. So I've been using that, and I've been seeing decent results with that. 
so excited about that product. You guys know I pump Bioderma constantly. I'm always about Bioderma, but the one negative to Bioderma that I don't like is that I have to buy it on the internet. Like, I cannot walk into a store, so if I'm getting low on it and not realizing it, or just lazy, or I have so much things going on, too many things going on that I don't remember to order it, and then I get in a bind, I always have to go to something else, and I get upset. And it's, you know, it's actually kind of good to switch your products here and there so that you don't get, like, in the same thing. Or how do you ever know is you like a new product if you don't, um, don't try it? So, that situation happened to me, the Bioderma I ran out of, and so I grabbed this. It's a new, um, it's by Neutrogena. And um, when I lived in Tennessee and we didn't have any kind of fancy stores, this was like the one brand, because I do have sensitive skin, this is the one brand that I would use. Um, it's a Hydro Boost Gel Cream for Extra Dry Skin. Um, it's a, it's called a Hyal Hyaluronic Acid. I don't even know how to say that, girl. But um, basically, it's a moisturizer that you put on your face after you're done cleansing. I do feel it feels so, so good on your skin. I do like this pretty good. Um, I think I like it better than my Bioderma, actually, funny enough. So, Bioderma, I guess, will still be for hand cream, even though I got something else this last time, too. But anyhow, it comes with this nice little blue container. And it really takes just only a little bit, but let me tell you, this is like $20, I think, for a really tiny container, 1.7 ounce, so I don't know if it's worth the money, though, guys. I really don't. I think for that money, I could probably go with like a Clinique or something for just a little bit more money and get a better result. I don't know. Um, when I was at Ulta buying a few other things, um, I got this for free because I bought a couple benefit items, and when you spend so much, you get a free little item so I got this it's for it's an eye brightening cream which is really cool because I wanted to try this it's called it's potent and it's the benefit eye cream it's to fade the dark circles under your eyes so they give you this just this little um, gift a little sample it comes in this little bottle this little jar actually and it's a cream a little eye cream that you put on your eye under your eyes I put a little bit over too I don't really know if you're supposed to but I it my eyes are dark all around. I have deep set eyes, so they're dark all around. But I've been using it. Um, I never see a change in my eyes with the dark circles. I mean, I think I will, and then, I don't know, that's an ongoing game with me. So I'll keep you updated on this. I'll keep using it and keep you updated on it. While we're on eyes, I just want to point out again, I know, I know I talk about both of these, but since it's part of it and I was out and about, I went to Ulta, which is how I got that free um, eye cream was I went to Ulta and I bought the new roller lash the day it came out. Oh my goodness, holy grail forever. Both of these, I mean, this was my holy grail before, but like together I stacked them and they are so beautiful that uh, I just love, 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 love these. And I stack them, but honestly, I don't really think you need to stack them and I really don't know how much longer I'll be stacking them. Um, if you come out with a better product, and then you're going to have to retire this one, guys. Um, this one, I no longer at all need a uh, eyelash curler. I don't need it at all. It, it um, curls them themselves. I don't know if you can tell. But these eyelashes are on point. I mean, they benefit never disappoints, though, like I said. Um... Just to show you what it looks like, see, so like they're touching my glasses. They're so long. Um, and they're real. I don't use fake lashes, guys. Packaging, nice little packaging. They always have the cutest packaging, Benefit does. And then the roller lash mascara. And then the wand, real quick for you guys, looks like this. Looks like that. I don't know if you can see it. Incredible. I I just can't say enough about this. And then, of course, the tried and true, they're real. Um, extending Lash Mascara, which is by Benefit as well. Oops. Um, it's just, it's wonderful, too. I mean, I would, if I had to pick one or the other, I would pick the other one because you do not need an eyelash curler. This one I'm using to stack double, like, just to thicken it. But really, I, I'm telling you guys, you don't need it. I, I'm, I mean, I hate to say that, but you really don't need it, guys. Making lots of crazy faces today in videos. I think it's because of this lipstick, like, it's really, 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 like, BAM in my face. Mom! That lipstick got it, BAM! 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 In my face! Okay. Okay, impromptu. I don't know what just happened. Okay, speaking of the BAM lipstick, BAM! Here it is. It's by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um... 
It is called Weirdo. I typically don't wear black lipsticks, but I have to have everything in his collection. I actually missed two of them one time, but he's bringing those back in April, supposedly. But there are also two new ones that are limited only that will be launching Friday at midnight Pacific time guys so set your alarm that's 3 a.m for me but you know my alarm is set for those two once i have the complete set we will talk i mean i don't think there's ever going to be a complete set because i think he's going to keep going because he makes incredible 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 product so speaking of the product it is a black matte velour lipstick it dries like a velvet it is Jeffree Star is my favorite, favorite, favorite lipsticks now. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to wear anything else. I mean, and I haven't even tried to do anything fancy with these guys. I mean, I literally just put them on my lips. They literally last all freaking day. So, oh, what am I doing? So, I want to keep the packaging. It's so pretty. Thank you, Jeffree Star. You make incredible, incredible products. And then the last thing I have for you guys is something new. It's from Smashbox, which I don't typically buy Smashbox products. Nothing against them. I just find other products more my style but I wanted a red tinted lip gloss kind of um, to go with an outfit I was wearing the other day because I didn't have one and I was there this one is called legendary it's kind of a burgundy color and I'm not real happy with it I mean I'll put it on it's not like whatever I'll put it on for whatever I want to put it on for but I mean, it's, it, it is good for what it's for. I wish it was a little brighter because that's just how I am. I like brighter colors. But um, it's good for what I need it for and good for just a little lip tint. I mean, actually, it looks kind of good there. Maybe I was just having a bitchy day when I put it on. I don't know. I'm trying to find somewhere to wipe it. Here, let me just wipe it on here. So, I mean... I don't know. I, mean, I was just having a bitchy day the day I used it. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. I'm sure I'll come back and tell you how wonderful it is later. So... That's that. That's all I have for you today, guys. Click the like button if you like my video. You finally can since I figured out I didn't have it enabled or something. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like such a moron for that. But what can you do? I'm new to this, and all we can do is keep learning, right? That's the only thing we can do. So do that for me if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Find me on the internet, chat and talk with me, follow me. I'm Candy Callistar all over the world. And until next time, guys, mwah. bye.